Welcome back, guys. We're back on Johnny Salami. After you've done Arcanop's quest and Rafa's quest, the third quest you're going to get in that little chain is not listed anywhere. You, there's no marker for it or anything like that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up to where the Chimera spawns in Lemansk. And the space bubble that is always up right back here where the zombie group is and the space bubble that you can jump into to try and get inside is right here. But anyway, you're going to jump into that space bubble and you want it to teleport you here, which is inside the building at the Chimera den here. And you, you should pop in right here. What you're going to do is you're going to come in here, hang a left. There's going to be a hole in the ceiling here. You're going to do a charge jump, climb up here, go through the doorway, hang a right, go all the way down, hang a left, hang another right. And there's going to be a strange monolith member here on the ground. So we're going to interact with them. The monolith soldier's lying on the ground and writhing in agony. It doesn't look like he's wounded, but he continues to wheeze and groan loudly as if in unbelievable pain. And don't finish him off. Just search the monolith member. So you search the monolith. He has no useful gear on his person. It seems like someone has already managed to rob him while he was writhing in agony. And now we leave. So that's the first body you're going to search. All right. So once you're done searching him and not killing him, we're going to come back out the door here. Hang a right and then a left in this other room here and you can fall out of the back here and i will see you once we make it to the second body all right the second place you have to come to find the body is going to be right here on this corner of this building near this circular fountain whatever this is so it's just going to be to the southeast of it and it's going to be another monolith member here interact again we're going to search him but not kill him you find a few torn pieces of paper that are covered in scrawl they're definitely of no interest to you and we're going to leave so that's the second one. Now we're going to go do the third one. I'll see you in just a second. All right. So the third body is going to be right here on the map. It's going to be in this mausoleum that is just to the northwest-ish of this little water area in the west side. And it is going to be in front of this big broken down mausoleum. You jump in the window here and here's the monolith member. And same thing. We're going to search him. And after you search the third one, you get an item that is the Fragment of Mormon's Note. And that gives you the quest Breaking the Chains. And we're going to leave him. Don't kill him. And now we have to find out what is going on with the Monolith members. And the note, I know you're not doing well. Try to get out. I'll wait for you for a few hours, then keep heading to the bar. Whatever happens to us, a scientist at the bar can help. So now we're going to go back and talk to Professor B at the bar. So I'm going to see you guys once I run all the way back there. All right, so we're back in the bar. We're going to talk to Professor B. You again, it's amazing. You can't even imagine what's going on here right now. Is this somehow related to the monolith soldiers who are dying all over Lemansk and this monolith member in front of you? Aha, so you already know. This event could transform life as we know it in the zone. Monolith soldiers are coming to their senses. So they're no longer being crazy fanatics who kill anyone and everyone? Professor B clears his throat in a matter-of-fact manner and quickly glances toward the monolith member he was talking to before you arrived. I don't know a great deal about interactions between monolith members and other inhabitants of the zone. I only know that most of these soldiers were under a powerful psi effect. Give me more details what exactly is going on. This information is pretty sketchy. Some scientists immediately started working on theories and guessing. I was one of them. Then suddenly this guy appeared who introduced himself as Mormon. He told me that monolith influence was waning. And what do you think about all this? I'm not all that familiar with the technology that allowed the monolith to obtain new followers. Nonetheless, all technology can malfunction. The weakening of the monolith's control led to some people regaining consciousness and free will. And? And not for all of them, the process was painless. I guess that the monolith members who are in pain, the ones who you were telling me about and who other stalkers are reporting to, and the ones who were less lucky. I see, so does this mean we can expect a whole bunch of guests in the near future in the form of these former monolith members? Please go talk to Mormon about that. I think he'd be happy to enlighten you. And that ends breaking the chains and we get the quest called Mormon. All right, let's give it a try. And you just turn around, he's right here. Okay, buddy, I know what you're gonna say. Fuck that goddamn monolith. You fanatics can all die in pain, am I right? Uh, if you really were brainwashed, I suppose you're innocent. Easy for you to say. The whole time the monolith was controlling me, everything I did as a soldier is imprinted in my brain, one way or the other. I see it in my dreams, and they're not pleasant dreams, believe me. Tell me more about the monolith yourself and about why you're now free. I can't really tell you anything in particular about how the monolith appeared. There were rumors that an experiment was being conducted by some scientists and got out of control. Afterward, the people were charged that the experiment either disappeared or were replaced by someone else. What was the aim of the experiment? Right now, I really don't care, but I guess they were checking how much pulp they could make from human brains. I'm free of that madness now. The monolith's control has weakened, and I've been able to break free. How did that happen? 
I've heard it all started with this one guy by the nickname Jackfish or something. I'm not sure as I don't know him personally. He was the first one to have his eyes open and his mind cleared. At first they tried to re-educate these defectors. Then there became more and more of them and in time they started killing them. So what's going on now? Chaos, turmoil, widespread confusion. No one knows why the Wanderlust has misfired, but absolutely everyone is afraid. The high-ranking officers haven't lost hope and are seeking new, more sophisticated ways to influence the defectors. Are you going to try to stop them? You weren't there, but if you had been, you'd know that they need to be stopped. It's all beyond good and evil, so you must have a plan. I've already enlisted Professor B's help in solving the issue. Maybe he'll be able to help those defectors who are experiencing adapting problems. You saw them in Le Mans, those poor bastards. They're all like fish stranded on the shore. Yeah, it was a pretty harrowing sight, but that's not all. There's someone who needs to be stopped too. The monolith members call him the architect. He's the leader of their officers who thinks up new ways of zombifying people. Professor B spoke highly of your work. Maybe you could help in exchange for a reward. Maybe. What exactly do you want? To begin with, it'd be good to know how the architect operates, how he intends to act, and what his approach is when developing his latest sadistic methods. Before I fled from the monolith, I managed to acquire some information about the possible location of the architect's stash. Sounds like you've decided to raid it. Exactly. I need his documents. If we can find them there, admittedly, I can't provide you with a specific waypoint or even a general radius. Here's a note to which I've added all the information I was able to obtain. If you can help me put a couple spokes in the architect's wheel, I'll find something by means of payment. And that completes Mormon. We get the tip off about architect stash and the quest architect stash. I'll see what I can do. All right, let's read this note. The Eastern Worm had its belly smashed up by black holes. Seems like architect uses them as security for his stash. So now we gotta go back to Lemansk and find the stash. I'll see you guys once we run all the way back up there. All right, so once you talk to Mormon in the bar after talking to Professor B, you're gonna come to this area right here, which is right behind this occupied building. And there's actually a spawn right here. And I think another one up here. And it's gonna be down in the middle of this. And there's a ton of black holes. I'm not really sure if there's a safe way to get down there. I just had to kill somebody who spawned in and I feel bad about it because they're going to think I was spawn camping, but I'm actually trying to figure out how to get down here and loot this bag. It is right there. There we go. Large backpack. If Mormon's info is correct, this should be the architect stash. You find a whole stack of architect's notes. He mainly writes about the monolith defectors. It may be worth reading them in more detail and handing them over to Professor B and Mormon. That completes the architect's stash. You get his notes and now you get the quest, the architect's notes. You may be able to get out of here, but I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> I don't feel like trying to figure it out. So that's happening. So I'm going to run all the way back to the bar and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, so back at the bar, Mormon is not here, so we're going to talk to Professor B. There's so much to go through. There must be something, something I've missed. Hello again, Professor. Where's Mormon gone? Ah, oh, hello, Mormon. To be honest, I've not been keeping an eye on him, but I can understand if he's decided to lie low for a while. What do you mean? Well, there have been a few incidents around here. Conflicts, altercations. The stalkers and bandits have responded with a distinct lack of enthusiasm to the monolith's fate. I can understand that. I don't want to get involved in local political squabbles. I hope that things will calm down. By the way, Mormon informed me that you should have obtained some notes from the architect or other. I believe the notes are related to these monolith defectors, are they not? Do you want to study them? Since Mormon's gone for a while and I'm left doing all the digging regarding this matter, why not? Here, take the documents. In the meantime, I'd advise you to try and influence the current situation somehow. You're more involved in all this, so you have some authority at least. What do you suggest I do? Organize a committee for the protection of monolith defectors? Try talking to the people who started the conflict, particularly since you've already had experience in negotiating with one of them. Gretcha, the bandit who was responsible for my escort. Where is he now? He's in the 100 Rads bar, like quite a few of the people with whom he got involved in the conflict. And that ends the architect's notes and we get an internal threat. Okay then, I'll see what the deal is with this shit show going on over there. So now we gotta go down to the 100 Rads bar and try to defuse the situation. Once you're down in the 100 Rads bar, we're gonna go all the way straight across. And Gretchen's sitting right here. Oh, look who's here. It's our dear stalker and master of scanner deployment. Maybe you could help us set up the gravestones. I reckon we're going to need them soon. This place is full of that monolith scum. Actually, that monolith scum is precisely why I've come to talk to you. What are you talking about? Can't you see that those little shits have literally flooded the 100 rads? Curie couldn't believe his eyes. It's no wonder. He's got to clean up this mess, you know? What if these guys aren't lying? What if they've really been liberated from the monolith's influence? I mean, look, they're just sitting there drinking and not bothering anyone. You're so damn naive. You're clearly not up to speed on what's happened. Last night, there were several murders. A couple of scientists, two weird stalkers, one guy from my crew, and some of these defectors fanatics were killed. That sounds pretty rough. These dumbasses think they're free of the monolith, but the monolith doesn't let anyone go. These fanatics are coming here and they're just gonna burn us all with napalm. This isn't our fight. We just need to drive all these liberated monolith members out of here. So you'd think it'd be better if we just had a massive shootout with the defectors around the bar, is that it? Well, have you got another suggestion? Let's take care of this exodus of monolith members. No need to make any rash decisions. 
Not gonna work. I know what it means when you talk about taking care of stuff. Among all those who have come here, I reckon at least one is a monolith spy. You think they don't have the brains to send a mole in if they're fanatics? Well, if there's a monolith spy here, we can expose them. Let's deal with that person rather than driving them all away. Good luck with that. If it's that easy, if you're an expert at identifying monolith spies, go ahead. I have five suspects. You should check them out. Damn it. Fine. I'll go sniff out your spy. That ends an internal threat and we get a wolf in sheep's clothing. And now we have to talk to the five different people. All right. So we're going to talk to all five of these guys. We'll just start and go clockwise. The first one's going to be sitting at the table right here across from this visitor and right across from green. Hey there, my name's Pashka. I hope you're not here to get in my face. I've already heard enough from the locals. It's always the same thing. Die, you fucking monoliths come. Don't you like the locals? On the other hand, I can understand them. We used to be the opposite sides. Maybe I killed one of the buddies when I was in the monolith. It's a good thing I don't remember anything. Then things would really be fucked up. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm a simple guy, simple as apple pie. I just want to find somewhere to stay, find work, meet new people, and get my hands on some artifacts. Basically, I need to get it socializing again. I'm already working on it, in fact. What can you tell me about your service? Sorry, but you won't get any harrowing tales out of me. I don't remember a thing. Nothing at all? You don't have visions, nightmares? Nope, nothing at all. Sleep like a baby. I honestly don't remember anything. What's done is done. That's how I explain it to myself. What do you know about the other defectors? I've only tried chatting with, to one of them, Squirrel, but he was, was kind of afraid of me. He was nervous as if he was hiding something or was afraid of something or, well, I don't know. If I'm not good enough for him, whatever. You can't be friends with everyone. All right. So next we're going to go upstairs here. Talk to this guy. What, should I cry because I'm too bad looking? Come on, there's a load of nonsense around here. They call me Zoyanka. At your service, as they say. Tell me about yourself. Not much to tell. I've been wandering around the zone for God knows how many years, gotten involved in all sorts of bullshit, and then ended up being captured by the monolith. And now, all of a sudden, it turns out I've escaped. What can you tell me about your service? My memories are very fragmented. Most of them get stirred up when I'm asleep. They come in waves. You can sleep normally for 20 minutes, then bam. You see some kind of nightmare from the monolith. Sleep for another 20 minutes, then another nightmare. It just goes round and round. What do you know about the monolith defectors? No, I haven't really spoken to them. I tried to speak to this one guy, Mongoose was his name, but he was really unfriendly. Too somber and serious. Not really what I was looking for in a buddy, basically. Do you think there could be a monolith spy amongst the defectors? It's an interesting thought, you know? I'm not the kind of person to go following people around, but last night I saw Mongoose storm out of the bar like a bullet, like a scalded cat. And it was last night when the two other defectors were killed, but hey, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, so I can't tell you anything for sure. Leave him alone now. There's going to be another monolith member here. What do you want? You looking for a problem? Because I can make one for you. Easy, buddy. I just want to ask you a couple questions. What's your name? Mongoose. But don't think that I'm going to be nice and answer all your questions one by one. The defector suddenly grasps his head and hisses something under his breath. And after a few seconds, however, the pangs of pain from the migraine pass. Fuck. Is your head hurting? Something wrong? Migraines, basically. I've suffered from migraines since I was about 20. Since I've left the monolith, they've gotten worse. Tell me about your service to the monolith. This is fun for you, right? Do you really enjoy interrogating a crazy fanatic, do you? I don't want to answer you. What happened in the monolith has nothing to do with you. I'm going to tell them someone's behind all these disturbances. People suspect that a monolith spy is responsible. Show some candor and help me out. Mongoose pauses for a second. You don't know if he's experienced a pain from the migraine or if he's just drifted into some dark memories. My memories won't help you anyway. They only come in my dreams and they're completely terrifying. What can you tell me about yourself? Has nothing to do with you. The main thing that you need to know is I left the monolith. I'm not a monolith member anymore. That's all. What do you know about the other monolith? With defectors. I sympathize with him. We have a common burden, especially Swimmer. He's really struggling with his new life. And that's all he's got to say. And there was another one. Oh, right here. Hi, I'm Squirrel. That's what they call me. Though they used to call me, it seems. Look, I don't want any trouble, okay? I'm not a monolith soldier. I'm not in cahoots with them anymore. It's really hard to explain. I've tried lots of times, but the locals don't want to listen to us. So we're going to tell them, tell me about your service. I only remember it in dreams. Basically, it just feels really strange as, as if I was only born yesterday, but I'm still having dreams about my past life and that life. I was cruel and faltering and angry. Forgive me, but I really don't want to talk about it. And anyway, I mostly don't remember specific events so much as emotions. Tell me about yourself. I was a bandit and not a lucky one. I was a grunt in the gang of a guy called actually, I can't remember what he was called. I haven't met him in the bar since I returned in any case. I remember his face, but not his name. Damn it. That's really going to bug me. Tell me about your service to the monolith. Do you know about any of the other defectors in the bar? I don't know any of them, to be honest. I avoid them, you know? I just want to somehow get away from all this. To tell the truth, given how the locals have treated us, I can probably really rely only on defectors in the future. Do you think there's a monolith spy among the defectors? I don't want to think about that. Sorry, all these questions and hearsay, it all stirs up my memories. I don't want to remember any of it, but it just comes back in my dreams in waves. I live a whole other life in my dreams, a life that I don't want to live anymore. So I'm going to tell them I should go. So every one of them except for the Pashkin guy has said they have nightmares and dreams. And this last guy, I don't want to, don't. Hey, are you okay? What's your name? You? You're asking me? I'm Swimmer. They call me Swimmer. I'm Swimmer. I'm Swimmer. What's wrong? 
I'm not so good. I feel terrified. I know that they're coming. They want to get revenge for the fact that we broke free. I can still hear the architect giving us orders in my dreams. They no longer have any power over me, but I still have to listen to them in my dreams. It's terrifying. Did you used to be a monolith member? Can you tell me about it? I still hear their commands in my dreams. I see myself. I watch myself shooting at other people and killing them. I feel crap because of those dreams. Yesterday, I ran away from here. I wanted to kill myself, but someone stopped me. Someone stopped you? Who? Yeah, I'm so sick that I can't remember who it was exactly. He ran after me and clearly realized that I'd hit rock bottom. He said that, that he was sick too, but we needed to endure it. He said his head hurt really badly too, so Mongoose is the one that stopped him. He's barely hanging on, but he's enduring it. He persuaded me to do the same. What do you know about the other defectors? They're miserable, just like me. Did you know the two of them were killed last night? It was him. The monolith Avenger is already here, killing us. He's going to punish us. Do you think there's a spy amongst the defectors? Yes, among us. He's among us. He'll take revenge on anyone who was lucky enough to get away from the monolith. I have no doubt that they sent him. I saw one of them talking to those two guys that were killed during the night. I don't remember who. I don't think he had a nickname. No, no nickname. Could it be him? So everybody else has a nickname. You got Swimmer, you have Squirrel, Mongoose, and Zelyanka. So Zelyanka and Pashka are the only two that don't have nicknames. And the only one that doesn't have nightmares is this guy. So I think this guy is the spy. I looked at the guide as well, and this is the spy. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back over here and tell Gretcha that Pashka is the spy. I'm ready to guess who the spy is. I suspect that Pashka is the spy. Very well, I'll tell my men to deal with him. We'll soon find out whether you'd make a good detective or not. But in the meantime, are you going to stop harassing the other defect? Depends on their behavior. We'll get to the bottom of this, buddy. We'll get to the bottom of it. And Wolf and Sheep's clothing is done, and now we get Plan B. Fucking Plan B. We get a quest called Plan B. Whatever you say. Now we got to go back and talk to the professor. All right, we're back over at Professor B. Mormon hasn't returned yet, but I think you can find some work for you to do even in his absence if you're interested. Go ahead. Having carefully studied the architect's notes, I learned that he has started creating portable psi emitters. Seems like he's prepared to go to great lengths to save the monolith from internal collapse. A fanatic's still a fanatic in the zone, Professor. It would appear the architect has learned to harness the anomalous energy that Lemansk is full of better than anyone. If we were to believe his notes, at least, these devices are charged up by that energy. Do you want to check that for yourself? Of course, I don't want to brainwash anyone, however. If we could obtain these devices, that would help us understand that what technologies the monolith has at its disposal. It also allows us to develop countermeasures of some kind. So what do you want me to do? Get a hold of a few of these portable devices. I'm sure you'll find some of them in the monolith member's possessions. Once you've done that, you'll need to charge them. In order to do so, you need to challenge the strongest mutants in Lemansk. If we were to believe Architect, eliminating them will cause a short but fairly strong pulse of energy that will allow us to charge the devices. You need to kill the mutants one after the other as fast as possible. Otherwise, the devices lose its charge. The device will lose its charge. If something goes wrong and you lose the emitters, you'll have to start over and go get some more. Got it. Get a hold of these pieces of shit that the monolith members use for their hypnosis and charge them. Then bring the devices here safe and sound. Don't forget that, please. I'll be waiting for you. So plan B is complete and we get a War of Willpower Part 1. And we gotta go get three portable psi emitters and then we're going to have to kill all three of the bosses in Lamance. I'm gonna go figure out where I need to farm these things up. I'm assuming it's just from monolith occupied buildings. And after I get three of them, I am going to try and kill all the bosses. It's kind of spicy in Lamance right now, so it's gonna be um, interesting. I might have to do it multiple times, but I'm gonna go do that and I will see you guys once I have charged the three devices. All right, so we're back in Lamance. Can confirm it is the monolith occupied buildings. And this is what you're getting, a portable psi emitter. They weigh 1.5 kilograms each. So plan accordingly with the carry weight. I'm gonna go try to get two more and we will continue this quest. All right, so I kind of think I may have found a way to cheese this quest somewhat, just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, I've gotten all three psi emitters. They do take up four cells a piece, as far as four of these a piece. So you can't put them all in one stash. So I put down three stashes and put one in each stash. They only weigh 1.5 kilos. And when you die, it says you failed the quest, but all you have to do is come back in here, go to your stash, take them out, and then re-put them down. And once you have three at a time, it pops up and updates your quest to say, go kill the giant rat, the Psy Bloodsucker, and the Phantom Chimera. So what we're gonna do is I am going to go and kill them without the things in my inventory and see if it gives me credit. If it does, that's gonna be a way we can kind of cheese this if you're a solo player, because as a solo player, trying to do this is going to be fucking terrible. I will get back to you guys as soon as I go kill one of these bosses and let you know. So I will see you shortly. But I killed one of the bosses. 
and left and you fail if you leave Lamance or you fail if you die. But when I came back and picked up the three Psy emitters out of my stash again, it reset that boss kill. I don't have credit for killing the rat giant anymore. So you do have to kill all three bosses in one life without leaving Lamance and then pick those out of your stash and go back to the bar with them and give them to Professor B. I am going to try to kill all three of these things. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, after three or four days of trying to solo this step where you needed to get the three Psy emitters and kill all three bosses without dying, I was just getting terrible luck. I would usually get two out of three bosses killed and then get third party on the third boss. So after all that, uh, Trisp and a couple of his buddies, so we got, they're in the group with me right now. So Trisp, Headblock, Zwag, and, and Zig helped me like run around and knock out all the bosses without dying so huge shout out to them because i was like l at the end of my my wits trying to get this done but we're back in the bar we are about to talk to professor b we have the three psi emitters you return just in time gretchen and his men have cracked the monolith spy amazing gretchen told me that it was you to thanks that they apprehended him awesome and what about the other defectors gretchen hasn't declared war on him has he Tensions are continuing to mount. Mormon came back, by the way. He wasn't himself at all, and even when I shared the results of my research with him, it didn't really lift his spirits. By the way, about that research, here are your side devices, fully charged. And that gives us three injectors, a pouch of guides, first aid kits, 10,000 parts, and 60,000 rubles. And that completes primed and ready, and we get the spy who cracked. So now we gotta go talk to Gretchen, who is back down in the 100 Rads bar. So we're gonna run all the way from the door back to where he's sitting at the bar here. Oh, look who showed up. Have you heard what's happened? That guy you handed over to me, turns out he really was a spy. We made his life a living hell, so he cracked and told us everything. Really, just goes to show my instincts didn't fail me. Just so you know, he was planning on killing your buddy Professor B and stealing something from him. Although by the time we'd gotten our guest to spill the beans, he'd lost too much blood, so we only found out the bare minimum. At least you have no reason to start conflict now, right? Well, you got lucky. You worked out who the mole was, so... So what, are you just gonna stand around here like a border guard now? Sorry to disappoint you, but it all comes down to one thing. It's either them or us. Don't jump to conclusions, Gretcha. Look, I've got no time to argue with it, but you deserve a reward for your help. That ends the spy who cracked, and you get 10,000 rubles, 5,000 repair parts, and a, a big bag of farmy first aid kits. And now we get Mormon's return. Thanks, that's all I needed. So now we gotta talk to Mormon. And Mormon's going to be upstairs up there. So we're gonna talk to him now. So we meet again. Professor B said you were headed off to complete some mission or other to help him. How did it go? Fine, I obtained a few charged side devices for the professor. Excellent, we need to help him in any way we can. He may learn how we can deal with the monolith, or at least he might be able to help the other defectors handle their adaption more easily. That'd be great, of course, but I've got to ask. Where have you been? I was trying to find more defectors in order to help them, but I didn't get there in time. The architect found them before me. What did he do? He took some away in order to try out his portable side devices, and then he punished the others with such cruelty that even his own bodyguards felt bad. I barely managed to suppress the desire to jump out of my cover and strangle that bastard with my bare hands, but he had a whole crowd of guards around him. That's sad, what's our next step? We're not gonna be able to get the architect just like that. Having sensed the danger, monolith members have clearly started changing the locations of the camp's patrols and so on more frequently. They want to confuse anyone who might decide to go to war against them, and they want to get revenge too. So, in that case, how are we going to find this architect? I've been in touch with a guy out of the military. He's prepared to sell intel to us concerning all the monolith's positions and movements in Lamance. This information is essential, but the price is quite steep. My contacts has asked for a heap of resources from Lamance. Do we have any other options? Not unless you've got some connections in the military. Friend or acquaintance, perhaps? Now's the time to make use of your contacts. If you don't, then I ask that you help by gathering the resources. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to try and come up with a new plan of attack. I'm going to help the other defectors and keep an eye on them so that everything doesn't go to shit around here. You probably already noticed there's too much tension among the locals that they might soon throw us on the fire. Yeah, no doubt. Help me, buddy. Help us all and you'll be handsomely rewarded, I swear. And that ends Mormon's return and we get military intel. I'll see what I can do. And now we just have to get Mormon 200 limb and 200 bitter leaf. So I've got a plenty of both. Here they are. Great. Now I need to make a trade with my contact. Hope everything goes without a hitch. Until then, I have another mission for you. Are you ready? Lay it on me. Our collaborative efforts with Professor B have finally bore fruit. We've developed some special emitters that are capable of suppressing the signals given out by the architect's side devices. If we position them in Lumance, that'll really help the other defectors and deal a severe blow to the monolith. And you're asking me to do so? Yes, but that's not all. The last modification that I installed in the emitters also allows them to detect specific types of signals. I took the necessary signatures from the monolith channels that I know about. Could you say that again in English? We can not only weaken the signals, we can steal some of their supplies. Scanners, prototype devices, maybe other stuff too. I don't know. I'm not sure how effectively the emitters will work. I'm not hoping for much, but they'll relay all the information they gather to your PDA. So I should deploy the devices and then find the monolith stash. Yes, search area might be quite large, so you'll have to be meticulous. The emitters are rather bulky and they're not all that sturdy, so be careful with them. 
they get damaged i'll give you new ones but you'll have to start the whole mission again from the very beginning and that ends military intel and we get crushing the monolith part one yeah i figured no need for grand speeches so these things weigh 1.5 each so that's not too terrible but i'm gonna go back to lamask and place these things and i will see you guys here in a second all right so technically the second emitter is gonna go right here to the south east of this circular fountain area and it's going to be up here on top and it's just right here there's that bubble that's pretty much always there sir sir stop so that's where the second one goes and now we're going to be heading over to the first one which is over here in the southwestern area of the map and it's like a circular area of green grass and shit right there so we're gonna head over there and i'll see you guys here shortly all right so the first one is like i said it's going to be over here and it's going to be up on top of this little area right here. There's Trisp. That's the first one, technically. We've already done the second one. Third one is going to be way up here in the northwest. The last one is going to be way in the northeast. So I'll see you guys once we make it up there. All right, so the third one is going to be this building up here. And if you come and climb on top of this truck right here, you can jump to where Trisp is right here. And then you can jump and climb onto the roof. And the third one is going to be stuck all the way over here. And you don't even have to jump all the way down to place it. And that's where it goes. So now on to the fourth one. I'll see you guys shortly. All right. So this one is the fourth one. It's going to be over here. And it's up top up there. So I got to figure out a way through this building. There we go. Some stairs. So on the third floor. And here it is. And now we just have to find and steal the monolith technology, uh, which is one, two, three, four different areas. So let's go to the first one. I'll see you in a second. So for the first area right here, which is just to the south of this occupied building in the northwest, you are literally just going to be searching everything you can search in here. So you're going to be searching all four of these areas until you find a laptop and it's not guaranteed to be in necessarily any particular one. You just have to search all four areas and find it. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out which one it's in and I'll see you guys then. Okay. So I'm at the one in the middle here where that's where the plus shaped building or courtyard is. And this pile of crates examine the stash that ends crushing the monolith part two. You get the laptop and now we have the monolith laptop quest. And we just have to deliver this to Mormon, so I gotta go back to the bar. So I'll see you guys once I run all the way back. All right, so we're back in the bar, back down at the 100 Rads bar. We're going up to talk to Mormon again. Did you get it all done as we agreed? Did you put the emitters in place? Were you also able to find any monolith technology? We got a present for you, a laptop. That's interesting. This gizmo could contain a couple of monolith secrets, but hacking in the laptop here will be risky. Is something wrong? The locals are getting more and more pissed. I get the feeling I'm being watched, maybe by another monolith spy, although I may be wrong, but you can never be too careful. There's a place here that's a little quieter. Let's meet with a laptop there. And that ends the monolith laptop and we get encrypted secrets. Whatever you say, Mormon. And we gotta go to the secluded location, which is actually in the red forest. Just kind of halfway into the red forest. So I'm gonna run up there and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so once you go meet him in the red forest, it's gonna be right here on the map which is just to the northeast of where the space bubble is that people use to leave red forest and it's going to be this bunker right here and you actually get to enter the bunker so and mormon should be down here finally arrived i've started digging through this laptop but it looks like it's protected by some kind of program haven't had any luck hacking into it hackers against fanatics this should be interesting i have no intention of competing for the title of best hacker at one point i wasn't even able to activate a pirate copy of windows basically it's over to you that ends encrypted secrets and we get hacking the monolith and hacking instructions i never expected it any other way let's see what the deal is with this laptop of yours and now the laptop is going to be on the table here behind you and try to hack the laptop 
Okay, so at this point, just follow the highlighted option on screen. I'm not going to be talking. I'm just going to be clicking through the correct options. So if you need to slow the video down a little bit, do that, but only choose whatever the red box is around. I'm also going to put the correct numerical input sequence up on the screen if you'd rather follow that. and then launch program and that ends hacking the monolith and it gives you 70,000 rubles 15,000 repair units and two camouflages one for your weapon and one for your armor and now we get secrets of the monolith let's see what's hidden inside you did it you've got the Midas touch let's see here I reckon there's definitely something here that could be of interest to us knock yourself out Mormon well, well, well. There are coordinates on here for some place where the monolith has built stashes of resources for producing those portable psi emitters. The gear started turning. You want to steal the contents? Steal them? What do we need them for? To sell to the diggers? I've got a brighter idea. We'll set up some fireworks for the monolith. I think I know where you're going with this. Thanks to the military intel that you managed to get your hands on, I've been able to track the approximate location of the architect. He stays out of trouble, as he doesn't want to catch a bullet, but we can make him come out of hiding. We need to piss him off. What do you suggest? I'll get a hold of the few defectors who we've more or less befriended. We'll head to Lamance and cause some commotion. Need your help too. To start off with, you need to eliminate as many monolith soldiers as you can. What then? Then I'll give you the coordinates of their stashes and you set up the explosives there so that this thing has the most devastating effect possible. You'll need to detonate all the explosives at the same time. I'll do that remotely and afterwards we'll have a chance to kill the architect. After we send a whole bunch of monolith members to their graves and destroyed their stashes, the architect will be furious. Exactly. He'll stop protecting himself and go on the attack. His sense of caution will be replaced by anger, and that's when we kill him. Sounds risky, but it might work. You've already helped me and all the other defectors plenty. Here, take these supplies. They might come in handy. Also, here are the explosives. If things don't go according to plan, you need more explosives. You can get some from my assistant at the bar. You've already made provisions in case this doesn't go according to plan. Our attacks on the monolith should be aggressive enough to attract the architect's attention. As soon as you get to Lamance, you should start purposely exterminating monolith members. If you leave the city or get distracted, you'll be giving them some respite, so you have to start over from the beginning. Is there anything else? I have no doubt the monolith members will occasionally check their stashes. Don't screw around placing the explosives, or you won't be able to detonate all the stashes at once. If there are delays at any of the stages of the plan, we'll have to start over, but I assure it will be worth it. I'd like to believe that at the end of the day, it's me who's going to be spilling blood and wasting lead. And that gives us the four explosives, ends the secrets of the monolith, and we get the fall of architect part one. Sounds good. So now we got to go back, kill 30 monolith members, and plant explosives without dying. So I'll see you once we make it back to Lamansk. All right, so we killed the 30 monolith members. The first place you have to plant an explosive is right here. It's on the second floor in the prison where the occupied building is. And it's up here i've already planted the explosives i was not recording i apologize but it's right here so it's the first door you can go in on your right on the second floor so now we got to head up to the second area which is right next to the anomalous installation defense near this cross courtyard area then there's one over here and one in the north so i'll see you guys at the next one all right second set of explosives go right here which is in the courtyard area there's somebody doing an anomalous installation and you kind of have to look off of the thing. You can't look at where the bomb actually goes, but it goes right here. So now I'm going to head up to the other two and I'll see you guys shortly. All right. So the third set of bombs go in this building right here, which is pretty much just to the east of where the bloodsucker boss spawns. It's going to be inside of here in the back left and just point at all this stuff. Boom. That one's done. Now we got to go do the one up north. I'll see you guys once we get there. And the last bomb is going to be planted in the construction area just to the south of the Chimera Den. It's going to be on the second floor, I think. Yep. Second floor. You come up, hang a left here, and it's right in here. That completes that. And now we have to kill the architect. And the architect is going to be all the way up in the hospital. So I'm going to go up there and I will see you guys shortly. All right, so we are up here. I had to clear out the occupied building, and now we just have to go and find this guy. Which, by the way, there's going to be a lot of random monolith soldiers. So be ready for that. Monolith. 
and that was him that was architect so you just got to kill until you find this big boy with the heavy armor he kind of looks the same as all the rest of them to be honest with you so i didn't really know it was even him but now we have to return to mormon in the bar so i'll see you guys once we run all the way back we're back at the bar going to talk to mormon who is standing in the middle here with gretchen across from him you're back we need your help everything's getting a little crazy around here right now that asshole gretchen wants to force his own will upon us he wants to make us leave and he's threatening violence if we don't like things have reached their breaking point that's not gonna happen i didn't break free of slavery of the monolith just to have some bandits come tell me where to go and how to live we want to stay in the bar calm down enough blood has been shed already then go talk to him i thought you two had already met if they put their guns down we'll do the same that completes the battle's not over and we get all or nothing i'll try to resolve this so now we got to talk to gretchen We've already said all I have to say to the Monolith gang. What don't you get? The bar isn't the place for psychopathic fanatics. And former psychopathic fanatics like drug addicts, like former drug addicts, simply don't exist. Gretchen, this has gone too far. Are you really prepared to wage war in the 100 rads? I've already said that leaving them here is too dangerous. Either they'll cause a the chaos here themselves or their fellow Monolith members will come here and get them. Mormon and I have already dealt a heavy blow to the Monolith. They won't recover anytime soon. That's not enough. They're dangerous, as I know full well. My men aren't the only ones who agree with me. Lots of stalkers and bandits do too. They're afraid to take up arms, but they'd rather support me than that Mormon guy. I already uncovered a monolith spy among the defectors. I doubt we'll find another, especially after the beating we gave them. Jesus, you've got a finger in every pie. That's enough. We've already eliminated the threat to the bar that was caused by the monolith. Now there's just one threat left, and it comes from you. Damn it, lower your guns, boys. We're not going to open fire. If you like molly coddling these defectors so much, you go deal with their fate. I'm not going to get involved anymore. But if they cause problems, you'll be the one to take the fall. Remember that. That completes all or nothing, and we get a place in the sun. Got it? Now we talk to Mormon again. You managed to persuade that Gretchen and his savages to stand down? That's amazing. But honestly, I'm confused. After all this, I'm not sure that it's worth us staying here. You've proved how dependable you are on many occasions. I'd like to ask your advice. And I'll be happy to give it to you, Mormon. What should we, the defectors, do? Should we stay in the bar and hope that sooner or later the locals will get used to us? That may be the way forward, Mormon. Your war with the monolith may not be the greatest challenge you faced on your journey. You're right. We'll fight for our place here and prove that not a trace of our past lives bound to the monolith remains. Thank you for your support. No problem. Hope everything works out for you. You looked kindly upon people on whom others had turned their backs. I have no words to express how grateful I and my fellow defectors are. Please allow us to give you this reward as a token of our appreciation. That completes a place in the sun and we get 70,000 rubles, the monolith MIS Atlas suit, which is a master level suit, and 20,000 repair units. So thanks for your reward, Mormon. Good luck to you and your friends. And we'll take a look at this here this is what the suit looks like here's the stats very good suit 400 bio 310 psi 370 thermal 385 rad and the best part is it's free the bad part is the quest to get it is a nightmare but that is all of the main story quest for Lamance. i've already got videos up on all the side quests in Lamance. apparently you only need to complete the three main story chains which are arkanov's quest rafa's quest line and Professor B slash Mormon's quest line to do the rune quest. So the next video I'm going to have up after this one will be the rune weapon and how to get it. Big shout out again to Zwag, Triss, Headblock, uh, Zig, because they helped me on these last few parts of this Atlas chain because I was having no luck getting it done, killing all the bosses without dying while having those three Psy emitters on me. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for the help. <laughs> I was at my wits end trying to do this quest solo. But with that being said, if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all take it easy.